In other news, one of my amazing subscribers asked, where is baby Andy going to sleep? Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am 22 weeks pregnant. One more week until viability, four more weeks of this trimester left. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this pregnancy is just flying by. So this week I have noticed that I am hungry all the time. Like I could graze all day. Um, and I'm really trying to control that because I know if I let myself just eat meat all day, I'm going to weigh like a ridiculous amount. So uh, I try to rein that in. I try to have healthy snacks and try to, you know, do the best that I can. But I am hungry all the time. <laughs> this week I've been craving hot chocolate so bad. I've been having an aversion to like coffee and tea for some reason they're just not interesting for me I just don't really care for it I don't want it but I have been wanting nothing but hot chocolate I've had a cup every single night this week while when the girls go to bed I'm just really loving hot chocolate this week for some reason I've not been as constipated this week I've finally figured out the problem I think I have too much iron or something like that which is really weird because with the girls I always had low iron around this time of pregnancy uh, especially when you get to like the glucose testing and they have to check your iron levels also they always tell me I'm a little low, so kind of shocking that I'm a little high this time, but uh, I figured it out. I just take a laxative pill with my prenatal, and I've been fine since. So no more problems with that, thank heaven, because that is miserable. If you've ever experienced it, you know. And the last symptom of this week, I don't have a whole lot of symptoms for you guys this week, but the last one is super nesting. I am like super, super nesting. This week we are getting the girls more fall and winter clothes, so I'm going to get that organized, and a clothing haul will be on the horizon. It's coming up soon, I promise. I just want to organize and clean and get everything ready and it's way too early to be getting everything ready at 22 weeks but uh, for some reason that's what's going on. To give you guys a weight update before I go into other news, last week I told you I was 158 and I told you that it was probably because I was throwing up the night before. I was right <laughs> because this morning I am 162 which puts me 17 pounds above pre-pregnancy. In other news, one of my amazing subscribers asked where is baby Andy going to sleep. We do have a bassinet for her and most likely it'll go right beside me, right beside the bed, but uh, we probably won't use it that much. I'll probably only use it when Devin's home because Devin is a really restless sleeper. He does really good if the baby is actually in his arms or on his chest or like physically on him. He does great, but for some reason, I mean, it's not him, it's me, but for some reason when baby is just laying beside of Devin, I get kind of nervous. Not that he's ever rolled on top of one of our kids or ever done anything like that. He's always been careful. But for some reason, like it's me, I'm just anxious that he'll roll on top of her or something. So whenever Devin is home, most likely Andy will sleep in the best net. But most of the time, a lot of the time, she will probably co-sleep with me because I do plan on breastfeeding her. It's going to be a different breastfeeding relationship probably because I've figured out through trial and error with Carly and McKinley that my babies just don't do good exclusively breastfed. They don't gain weight like they're supposed to and they don't get chunky or anything because of their genetic metabolic disorder. So I have to supplement. It's just something that I have to do, unfortunately. So I'm going to get a supplemental nursing system. It's this bottle that has a tube that goes out of it and you put it in baby's mouth. So I'm going to have to do that. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how you use a, an SNS and co-sleep and breastfeed at the same time. That's like a lot to figure out. I'm going to have to just figure it out when I get there because I really don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> In other really exciting news, our maternity pictures have been scheduled. I'm so excited. Therefore, November 12th, and I will be 25 weeks on November 12th, which is perfect because I don't like maternity pictures once I get well into my third trimester because I get so big and I don't want pictures <laughs> where I feel so uncomfortable with my body. So I would much rather have it at the very end of the second trimester. And I'm so excited because this is not only maternity pictures, but it's our anniversary pictures because our anniversary is in December, December 31st actually. And it's Christmas pictures. So it's all three of those things kind of rolled up into one. They're going to be very sentimental, very precious to me, and I'm, I can't wait. And the last bit of news that I have for you guys, I'm thinking about possibly, this is just a thought, but I'm thinking about possibly doing a registry for Andy. I know that we're having another girl, and I know that people automatically think, oh, because you're having another girl, you already have all of your stuff. 
Well, <laughs> well, um, yes and no. Uh, Carly and McKinley are summer babies. Carly was born in June. McKinley was born in August. Andy's going to be born in February. So she's going to be a winter baby. So all of the clothes, pretty much all of the clothes that I have, she won't be able to wear. So we have to buy all new clothes. And also a lot of our baby items have already been through two girls. That's two kids spitting up and throwing up and pooping all over everything. So they've kind of been a little bit worn for for example, we're going to have to get a new cover for the infant car seat that we already have because the cover that we have on it right now is kind of, well, worn. And if you guys want to see it and if you possibly want to buy something for baby Andy, let me know in the comments below. And as soon as we get it made, I will leave links in my pregnancy vlogs down below. And whatever stuff that I may get, I will add to my haul whenever I do Andy's big baby haul because I don't want to do like a bunch of little baby hauls along the way. I want to do one like big one probably in January because the holidays are going to be so busy and I will just include everything in that haul. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys my 22 week bump. So this is my 22 week belly. It's from the front. And back around. This is with the belly band down. My shirt came down. And back around. Thank you guys so much for watching this 22 week bump date and I will see you on Monday in the next vlog. Bye.